Information overload. We all have brains that suffer from the problem of information overload. There's far too much in the environment that our brains can fully process. In order to solve this problem of overload, our attention system is what allows us to direct the brain's network of regions to guide us. But when our attention system fails us, it clutters our mind, leading to fogginess, distraction, and other detrimental pathologies. So my goal with this project is to uncover how we can build experiences that declutter the minds to tackle this issue. So if we take a look at the challenge, this has significant relevance for many of us today. My problem statement specifically targets middle-aged females who are feeling overwhelmed with the mental overload due to the changed experiences and the added responsibilities of the pandemic needs to find ways to reduce mental stress and anxiety. And if we dig deeper into the bigger question of why solving this is necessary, we're seeing how this anxiety is leading to increased negative emotions, it's disrupting productivity and impeding sound decision capabilities, which can lead to detrimental consequences for many people. So the foundation of my insights came from eight surveyed participants. I interviewed eight women ranging from ages 40 to 50, and my rationale for targeting this segment is twofold. One, women are twice as likely to be affected by anxiety as men, and two, the pandemic is negatively impacting women more than men. Even as men are at home now full time, women are still shouldering the bulk of the household duties. So you know, they are really in overdrive right now in terms of multitasking. So after mapping all the qualitative data that came out of the interviews, a few key themes bubble to the surface that are contributing to mental overload. So uh, one shared work environments with more household responsibilities, media multitasking, constant interruptions, and lack of personal downtime. Uh, I also uncovered consistent patterns among each of the participants. None of this was surprising, but validated their behaviors that were contributing to increased stress and anxiety. So unhealthy physical habits, overconsumption of media, poor time management, and overall ne negativity. And in terms of participant mindsets, I used a segmentation framework to plot the audience's contrasting attitudes during the pandemic. And what I found was that the participants who engaged in unhealthier behaviors were focused on thinking about the future versus living in the moment. So based on this data, I distilled these fundamental truths into key solutions for minimizing anxiety. And I found that the most impactful strategy to answer my users' needs was to combine an experience to facilitate living in the present, manage multitasking, and integrate mindfulness. And the best way to approach this was to develop a reimagined time boxing method called the Pomodoro Technique, which facilitates deep focus sessions while integrating healthy break intervals as a way to reduce stress. And the, the, the benefit of using this method is that it's been heavily studied. It's based on scientific evidence that indicates short breaks help you concentrate better and fuels better decision-making. Okay, so looking to the experience activation. So if we were to take a look at the larger vision for this product, you're looking to approach it with two modalities. So looking at both screen and voice to offer a more flexible user experience. And here we have the final solution. The app is called Rithy. It's a productivity app to improve your focus while delivering relaxation in between tasks. So if we take a look at the prototype here, we have a demo. So the user launches the app, sets her focus task title and her timer durations. She then selects her background white noise to binaural beats starts her focus session, decides to customize her timer to 10 minutes. The user then navigates to the short break activity options. So from here, she selects the guided stretching activity and she goes to select the chair squat, follow the directions. And then when it's time to take a longer break, she goes to select the meditation option. So she starts her session, goes through the session, and when she ends it, she goes and checks her weekly review of stats. And then lastly, we have our Rithy voice experience. Alexa, tell Rithy I'm ready to focus. Okay, would you like 25 minutes, 15 minutes or five minutes? 25 minutes. Okay, starting your focus now. Play focus beats. Okay, playing focus beats.
You have finished a focus session. Take a short break. Tell Ridley to start my breathing exercise. Okay, we will start in three, two, one, breathe. Thank you very much. <laughs> 